Hey, what's up guys? I am Josh with the Kunanen Lab. So I am back with another video today just because this isn't a very important topic to me because like I'd said in the last video, we are going on a 90 day challenge and we are going to learn how to manage lust. Once again, this is probably my biggest weakness and my biggest struggle that I've come across over the last four years since I've been embarking on this journey in recovery and just self-improvement overall. So anyways, I wanna break down the topic of loneliness. So loneliness for me ends up manifesting into lust. So once again, lust being a strong sexual desire. So over the last four years, you know, I've spent a lot of time with myself, just getting to know myself, reading books, meditating, you know, driving across town, going to all these different, um, you know, meditation groups, spiritual groups. And I've, I've met a lot of good people on this journey. But the thing is, is I started to understand my own energy vibration. And I started to realize that in order to make a full on transformation, I'm going to have to change my people, places and things. So I got into a point in my life where I almost eliminated all people, places and things out of my life into a phase where I spend most of my time alone. You know, I live in an apartment by myself now. I, I do a lot of things alone and I'm completely okay with that because I've been able to face myself and start to, you know, become more in tune with who I am in what I want out of life. And I've been able to help a lot of people along the way as well. But anyways, going back to the, the idea of loneliness. So, you know, I, I have so many things in my life that I could fill my life full to the brim, you know, and be overflowing with things constantly. And, and generally, most of the time I am really busy. I'm always leaving the house whenever I'm not at work, on, coming back home, leaving, going to train. Hey, what's up guys? Sorry, the video I'd cut out. I was sitting in my car and out here in Las Vegas, it's like 100 degrees out. So the temperature um, um, warning came on my phone and it locked me out of the video. But anyways, going back to where I left off, I was talking about loneliness and then so, you know, I, I have enough activities in my life to stay fully busy doing actually very healthy and proactive things that are going to help me become a better version of myself. But I'm not perfect. You know, I fall in these slumps, you know, I, I fall a little bit off, I lose momentum, I gain a little bit of laziness here and there, and then I find myself with free time on my hands. And now the loneliness starts kicking in just enough to where it starts manifesting in the form of lust. So because I've been single for the last four years, you know, I've dated a couple of chicks here and there, but didn't last that long. I'm single again right now. So I come home to an empty house. It's just me and, and I'm completely okay with that. I actually enjoy it for the most part. But like I said, is I fall off a little bit, I get a little bit lonely and that loneliness turns into lust. So I've created this 90 day challenge because I want to learn how to level up. I want like I understand the whole process of when I start getting lonely. I understand the whole process of when lust starts kicking in. It's just I catch the first thought sometimes and then sometimes I give energy to that first thought and then it fuels another thought and then another thought leads to over scrolling on Instagram and then that other thought leads to sometimes porn and masturbation and another time it leads to oh I need to be in a relationship so I go get on a dating app and then then I I I finally center myself and realize like what am I doing this is not the path that I'm supposed to be following I'm not in pursuit like I'm not try like I'm okay with myself. But the thing is is the ego it gets really tricky. You know, there's this term, there's these terms that apply to like the ego that my pop says is the ego is cunning, baffling and powerful. So it's very tricky and if we're not really living in the moment and very mindful of in observing our own thoughts, sometimes we don't catch that first thought. 
And it becomes tricky because we start to feel that first thought that leads to a second thought, third thought, and 20 thoughts in, we're behaving in a way that we didn't want to behave. And, and we're seeming, and, and it seems so hopeless at the time because we're like, how did we end up here again? You know, watching porn or over scrolling on Instagram or just lusting overall. Because whenever we're lusting, we're not pursuing our full potential. We're not we're, we're in a selfish and self-centered mindset when we're lusting because we're only thinking about fulfilling our own desires. And for me, that's a problem. Like, that's not who I am today. But the thing is, is like I mentioned, that's my last thing I'm leaning on. I've let go of a lot of other addictions in my life. And this seems to want, be the one that just keeps creeping in. And I finally start doing really good. Or it, or it creeps in and I fall down. And then I start doing really good for a while, concentrated, making a lot of progress, you know, fitness gains, business, learning more about my business and opportunities and helping other people, training other people. And then all of a sudden I get a little bit lazy, loneliness creeps in, lust creeps in, and I'm distracted. And then distraction equals depletion. So once again, you know, um, I'm not gonna keep going on this video. This is kind of another introductory to the 90 day challenge. But anyways, I just wanna give you guys a few things because I wrote this big, not big list, but I wrote a list of things that I really wanna focus on so I could enhance the quality of my life in these next 90 days. Because it's not necessarily of like be, be, being celibate for 90 days, it's gonna make my life better. No, it's what I'm going to do and what I'm going to implement and practice and become disciplined in in these 90 days is what's gonna allow me to level up and become better than who I was yesterday, you know, into today and into tomorrow and so on. But anyways, so I talked about, you know, pushing on my apparel company. You know, I really wanna get more work done in that area because I wanna launch that hopefully this summertime. Another thing is I wanna finish reading more books. You know, I just started reading this new book, The Power of the Subconscious, and I do believe this whole lust thing is, is a part of my subconscious that I need to correct my belief system in that area for me to learn to manage this. So anyways, you know, I wanna go to more recovery meetings. I wanna get more connected in that environment because I know connection is going to be key in learning to manage the lust in my life. Another thing is, you know, I wanna train four to six days a week. Training is another area of my life that has helped me enhance my life quality times a billion. I can't even give you guys enough. That's another video I can make in the future. You know, I wanna go on runs at least three to six days a week. Running has been another thing that has just improved the quality of my life because it's been it's taught me to face myself. You know, I go I go running by myself and I have to deal with my own mental dialogue as I'm running and I have to learn how to muster up the strength and courage and confidence to push through and, and continue to beat my, my old records of running, whatever it might be. You know, I want to eat better. I have a pretty good diet right now, but I want to crisp it up. I want to eat better. I want to start training, training Muay Thai more. I want to start reaching out to other people and trying to just help other people, you know, achieve some of these similar goals that I'm going after as well. You know, I want to start uploading more content to YouTube because this is another very passionate area of my life is because I had to start somewhere too. And I want to provide all the useful tools and knowledge that I've learned on my journey to help stimulate other people's progress in their life. So some other things is... <clears throat> I wanna meet with one of my mentors regularly once a week, at least schedule a call if not meeting for coffee and discuss a lot of the issues I'm going through and try to just you know build more positive momentum in this area to just help manage the lust better of my mind. So other things is I wanna really em just emphasize my morning routines. I wanna just hammer down on them in the morning. I wanna really access the quit in the morning so I could develop a solid, solid foundation for the rest of my day. Because if I start the day good, I have a good chance at ending the day good. So I really wanna start focusing on my meditation practice more. I wanna start learning to observe my thoughts a little bit better and be, just, just become more concentrated and in tune with my own mental dialogue and what's going on inside of me so I can learn to catch these things before they build up too much energy to where I'm behaving in a way that I do not want to behave. So I really want to 
focus and enhance my prayer life too with my higher power. You know, prayer has been essential in my well-being over the last four and four years and few months because it's helped me align my mind with what I believe my higher power wants for me. And, and it's guided me and it's given me the strength and courage to just try to stay focused and do the right thing so the right things happen in my life. So another thing about this whole process, you know, this is gonna sum it up a little bit, is I really wanna practice delayed gratification. So by delayed gratification, I really want to focus on not getting the reward today necessarily. It's almost like fitness gains. Is, you know, if you're just starting your fitness journey right now, chances are in the first week, you're not going to notice any difference. Be the only difference you're going to notice is you are just, you feel like you got hit by a bus from all the workouts you've done, from how sore your body is. So, but over a three month period, you're going to start noticing a transformation of your physical body and your mind. They're going to start becoming stronger, you know, more lean, and it's just, it's just going to feel better overall. So practicing delayed gratification, I'm giving you guys that example, but I'm, I want to practice delayed gratification more in terms of spiritual growth. I really want to enhance my life through my daily activities and not worry about getting the reward today, you know, as if I just bought a new pair of shoes and then I get a little quick dopamine spike as I'm doing that, as I'm shopping to buy those. But anyways, you know, I really want to just have the strength and courage to embrace the struggle because that's an area when I start getting lonely and lust starts manifesting is I want to run from it and I really want to face it this time. I don't want to fight it because the more that I fight it, I just fall on my face and it's happened over and over and over, and I'm never gonna quit fighting. But I think the easier way to do this is to face it and actually start to learn more about it and understand it better. Because if I understand it, and I'm not always just tensed up trying to fight it, I probably have a better chance at learning to manage it in my own life. And you know, like I said, I wanna develop my own relationship with my higher power. I wanna enhance it, I wanna level up in that area. I wanna become better. I wanna be a better example to not only my family, my little sisters, but the whole, every single person that I ever cross paths with. I wanna be a good example and I wanna represent a man of God, a man of Hanuman, my vision or my my higher power being Hanuman. I wanna represent a better, a better quality individual to attract people to the God energy and start following that path rather than a path of destruction. You know, and I, in <clears throat> last but not least, once again, I just really want to enhance my concentration abilities because the more that I'm concentrated on a task, I start to reach this flow state. And this is the most peaceful state that I've ever been able to get to in my life. And that's why I like to run. That's why I like to exercise. That's why I like to read books. That's why I like to sit across from another human being and talk about life because this gets me in a very hyper concentrative state and I start to access that flow state. And that's the, and, and in that state, I feel completely centered with God. And that's the life and the path that I'm trying to pursue right now. So once again, guys, this is more of an introductory video and I'm gonna be documenting my whole experience with this 90 day challenge. And once again, it's not the 90 day challenge. It's not completing the 90 days. It's not, we're not trying to go for a time. We're trying to go for the quality of what we do in the time. We really wanna focus on the activities that we're doing and who we're going to become from being disciplined and staying consistent and honest with ourselves. But all right, guys, that's all I got for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you found any value in this, like and subscribe down below. And also follow Kunan and Lab over on Instagram. If you guys have any questions, just comment down below. And if you guys, I highly suggest everybody to join me on this journey because we cannot do it alone. I'm telling you guys, I've been, I've been there where I've tried to do it alone. Then I've been there where I try to do it with other people, but they just don't understand me. But I know there's probably more people on here that might understand what I'm going through and the struggle of it. And I want to make 
not only for myself, but for you guys as well. I want to make our, our biggest struggles, our, our biggest successes. So let's do this together, guys. 2022 is our year. Remember, let's keep accessing the quit and leveling up in life, but I'll catch you guys on the next.